Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report brought to you in association with the BNZ. Today, the Reserve Bank has left the official cash rate on hold at a record low 2.5%. It says it won't need to increase that rate until the middle of 2010. Most people say that means it can hold off a rate increase until the end of April, early June or the end of July. Now, the economy is recovering both here in New Zealand and overseas, and many people thought the Reserve Bank would be looking to increase the official cash rate before the, end, before the middle of 2010. But the Reserve Bank has a few friends on its side helping it out, helping it tighten monetary conditions in the economy. Firstly, the banks are being very tight with their lending. We got some new figures out last night showing that mortgage approvals to the end of last week fell for the first time in almost a year. That's because the banks have problems themselves finding easy and cheap funding on international markets. And the Reserve Bank has told them that they need to raise more money for longer terms and locally. And that's more expensive for them. So they're actually putting up their fixed mortgage rates. Also, we're seeing many people move from fixed mortgage rates to variable mortgage rates. And that's helping give the Reserve Bank more potency with its monetary policy. So when it does start increasing the official cash rate in the middle of the year, that's going to have more immediate impact on the economy. And also banks too are being much more careful with their own capital. There's a move globally to force banks to put more of their own capital aside when they lend. That makes them much more cautious about lending. And frankly, globally, this move last year to shift private debt onto public balance sheets hasn't really fixed the problem. It's still there. And globally, this means interest rates are rising as people get more nervous about governments defaulting on their debt. Overall, this means that even though the Reserve Bank has left the official cash rate on hold at 2.5%, real interest rates, the ones that you have to pay when you take out a mortgage, they're rising, and rising reasonably quickly. And that's helping the Reserve Bank do its work. Reserve Bank also says that the government's move to rein in fiscal stimulus means it can hold back on interest rate increases that little bit longer. And the moves afoot to introduce new taxes to the property sector will calm the housing market in New Zealand, which of course is the major driver for inflation. We're also seeing some moves on the local inflation front, with power companies freezing their prices somewhat, and also councils being more careful before putting up rates. That means that the inflation outlook is well and truly under control. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special report brought to you in association with the BNZ.